Hello, this is John with the Columbia River Orienteering Club in Portland, Oregon. Today you're going to learn a great way to measure map distance using the scale bar. Every good map should have one, and if you have your fingers, that's all you need to measure distance. To measure distance with your fingers, start by putting down different fingers on the scale bar of your map and see which fingers covers a convenient fraction of a mile or a kilometer. I usually end up using my thumb, index finger, or pinky. Here we have a map of Mount Hood, Oregon, printed at a map scale of 1 to 24,000. We also have a scale bar in kilometers and in miles. Here's the one mile mark here. If I put my thumb on the mile distance, I can see that one, two, three, four thumbs conveniently covers one mile. Remembering this, it's easy to measure distance on your map. You simply walk your fingers along, alternating hands. My fingers always touch each other and I never lift them completely off the map so I don't lose my place. Let's measure this climbing route from Timberline Lodge here following this red line up to Illumination Rock. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven fingers divided by four gives us about two and three quarters miles, and the actual distance is two and a half, so that's pretty close. It also works with maps at any scale. Let's try it again with a very small scale map, this road atlas. Looking here at the scale bar, we can see that 100 miles is represented by one thumb width. Say we wanted to find the driving distance between Portland and Seattle. One thumb on Portland, 100 miles. One more thumb on Seattle, 200 miles. That extends a little beyond it. 200 miles, the actual driving distance is about 180, so we're pretty spot on there. That's it for the finger scale. It's a quick and accurate way to measure real-world distance on any map.